Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are checking out Le Donnie. You play as Lucy, a young orphan at the end of the First World War in France. After disobeying the mistress of the orphanage she resides in, she gets thrown into the bedroom closet to spend the night, whilst the rest of the children celebrate the end of the war. The game continues from there. I would read the rest of the itch.io page, but I think we're just going to hop in. This is a game created by bachelor students, I believe. It looks visually haunting and very fun and interesting. Look at this, look at this small child. Just hanging out and vibing, but this is so beautiful in the back. Oh, we rarely get games and other media based around the First World War. The second is so much more popular for coverage. <gasps> Who is yes. it? Oh my gosh, we're older than I thought. What are you? Oh, you're the girl from the beginning. What the hell? Missing an eye, blind in two eyes. Oh my god. Uh, Lucy, we need to be running. Do I live here? I thought I was just thrown here. Oh, thank you for translating this. July 12th, 1917. Dear Diary, several children, including my friend Albert, had to leave for surgery. Sister Madeline says it's to help them feel better, but I don't understand why they have to go so far away for it. They didn't even look sick. In addition to the operation, we were told that these children would have to remain isolated in a special room for a certain period of time. It's called Quantaine? It scares the hell out of me. I'm sad my friend Albert is gone. I hope he'll be back soon in top form. Sister Madeleine, oh Madeleine, is very busy looking after the sick children. I hope she won't fall ill either. She's so good to us. See you tomorrow, diary. Uh, how do I get out of this? Okay. Oh, she unlocked it for me. She's not coming in. Oh. I instinctively may have hit F for flashlight. On ne fait pas, pas de bruit. I don't know. I'm not gonna try. Oh. Oh, it's just like the girl from before. Even missing the right eye. Oh, my sensitivity is crazy. Oh, it is quite dark. What are you and where do I get one? Hi, buddy. Oh, I want to take you with me. You are walking around. This looks so good. Oh. So obviously the children are being taken for surgery and to be experimented on, it seems. Oh, that's very fun. Sister Madeline? Oh, we're definitely a teenager. All of these children look normal. Dear Dad, how are things over there? I hope you're doing well. At the orphanage, the days are sometimes a bit sad. Sister Madeline has been looking around, been looking worried lately, and that makes us all a little worried. At school, I have as much fun as I can with my friends, but I often think of you, and I'd really like you to come back soon. Take good care of yourself, okay? I look forward to seeing you. All these orphan children, because their parents went off to the war, died at some point. Uh, what the freaking hell? Can you stop doing that? That's so pretty. This game looks exactly what I would, would expect for the era. Including the fire boxes. How many days have passed since I've been locked in there? Did I die? Because the war ended and I was forgotten? Oh, they did celebrate, didn't they? What happened here? <gasps> oh my god! I didn't expect to see this! Bro. These dragonfly moths look pretty. Oh. Was some mutant child or two or three or four, or, you know, a hundred, however many were corrupted? Did they get angry with those survivors and stuff? And. I thought that tree was a person and it scared me. 
And they rebel. Oh. Well, there's the rest of him. Uh. Planché? Oh, no. I don't know. I don't speak French. Oh. Keys? Oh, maybe they could be of use. Wow. I'm getting strong amnesia vibes. Like, in how good it feels to play and how interesting it is and how pretty it is oh <gasps> sister Madeline oh she gone oh shit oh my gosh forget blooper team forget Chinese room oh we're really in the orphanage Hello. Yeah, I see you, buddy. What are you? I kind of want to snuggle you, though. You kind of look really cool. If I die, I die. I really get to see what's this. Come back. Oh my god, what was that? Oh my goodness. You know, I hope this is a story about the children of the orphanage who have been having like all these horrible things happen to them. I hope it is a story where they rose up. Sister Madeline. Yo. Dear Sister Madeline. I hope you are doing well despite the dark days we are going through. War is raging around us, each day bringing its own share of suffering and loss. But despite it all, I persevere, driven by the hope of a better future for each and every one of us. My thoughts turn to you every day, looking forward to the day when we can finally meet again. Take good care of yourself and the children who depend on your compassion and devotion. With all my love, Pierre Lefebvre. Lefebvre? 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 Oh my gosh, that's such a good touch. They even put it down in a way that's accessible for you in case you need to read it again. These are so pretty. Man, did they sculpt all of this themselves? Oh my gosh. I mean the students, of course. I'm so blown away by how beautiful this is. What a vicious little monster. Okay, well that's a little... We'll worry about that when we have to worry about that. Oh shit, dude. Okay, let's not go over there yet. Oh my gosh, all of the little items and the details look great. Okay, you look like you were killed, like, normal. Normal murder happened over here. Can I take it for self-defense? You know, you're kind of handsome. Huh. Well, let's go over here. Oh, monst- Monstre? So, like, monster? Yeah, I'm presuming it's staff of the school or something. Blood all over, little demon faces, stormy rain cloud, thunder, rainbows. She's just like me for real. Horrifying. Did you guys paint these? I don't want this in real life. Oh. Man, I, oh, hello in there. That is very fun out there. Oh. You kind of give me Demogorgon vibes. Um, can I go in? I'm presuming we're safe, but maybe we're not experimentation room. Suspicious. That is definitely the face of the guy that we just saw.
Do the students rise up and take- well, the orphans rise up and take revenge? Huh, cute. Oh, and that's that guy that's like dead in the- next to the door. Well, maybe. I guess I don't know, but that's what it reminds me of. What happened to you in there? Eh. Eh. Quite jovial music, considering. A child, 1987 or 1897. Sorry. Foyer. Secret code added to in inventory. 1897, huh? Dude was eating an orange. Definitely looks like that guy that's just dilapidated in the other room. Oh. Okay, well, I'm stupid. Wait, how do I open my inventory? Was it 1887? Interesting. This is definitely... It plays like a proof of concept, uh... We know exactly what we're doing. Oh shit, the rest of you is missing, dude. Was I supposed to go down that flesh hallway? Okay, we gotta go back so that I can go down the flesh hallway. <gasps> no, I missed the opportunity to go see the undulating blobs! No! Man. I don't know where to look for spooky stuff. It's done a pretty good job of pulling my attention when necessary. I'm like heading deeper into the spookiness, I guess. Was I perhaps one of the few remaining orphans who like didn't have this happen to them? Whoa. The art looks crazy. <gasps> Ew. Salut. Salut? I know Salut? <gasps> and you guys were just watching those poor kids. Oh my gosh. I believe it. You know, this isn't too far from what life was really like. Yo, Eve. About to inject and get some Adam and Eve going on in here. And you would just lock them in these cells? Oh my gosh, you look crazy! You look great! How do I let you out? You're not hurting me. Do not give me spooky spider stuff. Please. You had a doggy in here? General... Henri, Henri, Dubois, General Drone's headquarters, French Army. Dear Dr. Renault, 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 the experiments carried out at the orphanage, although controversial, have brought undeniable advances in the treatment of war amputees, and for that we are deeply grateful to you. You know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. There must. Okay, well, for one, why are we sacrificing the lives of children for old people who have far less time to live, you know, and would not make for good war veterans to go on and fight future wars, etc. Oh, uh, no. Don't say, oh no, this bitch probably deserved it. Oh shit, but you're still alive. Idea. 
Nous mettons fin à l'obligation d'opérer the end of the war, we are putting an end to the obligation to operate on your guinea pigs. You are now free to dispose of your experiments as you see fit. Nevertheless, we ask you to completely take subjects such as Albert out of the picture. The confidentiality of this information is crucial. Relying on your discretion, we thank you for your service and understanding. Yours respectfully, General Henri Dubois. Armée Française. Oh, oui. Alright, is that real Poor little guy. Oh. Pet him! He's just a little kid. He's just a baby. Who are you? Hi. <gasps> yeah! Oh shit, I've had surgeries and shit on me too, I think. Did you see my arm? Rose got conflicted feelings. Hi. You got some legs that remind me of worms, dude. Did that one eye get rejected? Is that why you don't have five eyes? I had to count. And I dirty hand on. Interesting! Beautiful. Oh my gosh. I need more. I know this is a bachelor's degree graduation project, but oh my god, I need more. I would love to play a game that's about six hours long, four to six. Are you guys the students? <gasps> that's so cute! Y'all very handsome. Oh my goodness. All of you are very cute. This is where I make a super distasteful joke, so please know it's in jest. But you guys can experiment on me, ooh la la! Uh, seriously though, the game is beautiful. The sound design is amazing. For such a short experience, the story is mwah, perfect. You can kind of feel where it's building up to very quickly if you are quite familiar with horror, but it's not disappointing. Actually, I feel like the developers are really leaning into the tropes that are present here. These amalgamations, these creatures, these entities that have been experimented on, the setting, the horrors. You know, in games, it is quite common, in media in general, it's quite common for creators to lean away from the horror that surrounds children. They don't want to maim them. They don't want to bring in any kind of violence. And I understand. It can be a very distressing and sorrowful topic, but I think making it so extreme while still introducing a huge, deep level of heart and compassion really changes the narrative of just violence against children to, in this case, children taking back a kind of autonomy that we would never be able to see in person in real life. Um, so in, in a way, it's actually kind of empowering. Uh, I have been through some violence as a child and neglect and stuff. Um, obviously, I've never become a mutant creature from the people that are supposed to be taking care of me. But it's a little healing in a weird way to play this and experience it. I love it. It's so beautiful. It sounds great. I can already see this beginning being stretched out into about an hour of setting up the game, setting up the feeling. You could have a sequence at the beginning that is um, uh, uh, Lucy being stuck in the closet. It's a little bit before the war. It's a little bit of the celebrations and stuff during. And then maybe you are hearing some whispers or some of the other kids trying to play with you through the door if you've been there in there for a little while. Really, the amount of buildup that you could have here and how the game develops further would be honestly beautiful. I feel like the story kind of unfolds all on its own and the developers would just need to let the story do so as they create the rest of it but that's me rambling this is such a good experience i'm so upset this is all there is but the developers have linked their personal pages on the itch.io page for this game so please check it out play it yourself rate it yourself leave comments for the developers translate if you need to maybe some of them speak english and that's why the translation was so good i don't really know but damn why isn't there more i would easily play 
so much more of this. I would pay for this kind of experience. I'm going to donate on the Itch.io page because I like it that much. That will be coming from my Patreon funds. So say thank you to the Patreons for supporting this game. Thank you, Patreons. Um, that is it. That's all I have to say. Wow, I'm blown away. I want more so, so badly. Glad that I got to play. Glad that I saw it on Itch.io. Definitely check it out yourself. But that has been it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and listening to me ramble. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.